Good morning everybody and welcome to the Strand at Townsville. Today we're going over there. That's uh, Magnetic Island. So we just found some all day parking for the Wombat. And we're right in front of this waterfall. They got a waterfall like right down on the ocean front here. Hey, how cool is that? I'm guessing it just like runs out of a drain or something. But I can't really tell from here. Because the city's just there somewhere. So but yeah, it's still pretty cool. Uh, we're going to head up here and find our boat. And hope they know we're coming. Right, so we found our tickets. That was a bit of a hassle because we had like Sarah's friend bought her a voucher. So, and then the lady booked the tickets. You, you don't just get a voucher and you bring it up here. You got to ring them, ring up the voucher place. Then they ring them up and book the tickets. And then the email system was broken, so we didn't get any tickets. Yeah. And so anyway. And we just missed the ferry that we should have been able to catch because the tickets were under my best friend's name rather than my name. Not your name. Even so. though, you know, I've been the, like, they, the, the Townsville North Queensland people definitely have my name. I've been like communicating with them extensively trying to book this. So yeah. don't ever get a voucher to Townsville North Queensland It is a nightmare. Yep. Yep. So, but we just missed the ferry. It's just driving off out there. That's it behind that post there somewhere. But yeah, so we get the next one at 9.30? 9.45. Oh, 9.45, is it? Um, oh, no, 9.30, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's and, uh, now at 9.30. Yep, yep, yep. Then we'll go and see what's out on the island. Should be a mad day. Oh, poor Jetta. We had to drop her off with the dog sitter. Yeah. She didn't seem to mind, though. She looked happy getting hugs from the dog sitter lady. <laughs> So hopefully she'll have a good day too and we'll go and pick her up Salvo. Oh nice. <laughs> Bruh, I'm on a boat. <laughs> we will be arriving at the Nelly Bay Terminal on Magnetic Island in approximately 20 minutes. For your convenience, the bar is now open no. on the lower deck for light refreshments and the toilets are located at the rear of the vessel on the lower deck. If you require any information on transport, Oh, she moves. We made it, so welcome to Magnetic Island. We gotta find some cash for the bus now, and then uh, we're gonna catch the bus to try and find some koalas. Wow. Yeah, it's so nice. Right, so now we're getting on the bus, and uh, we're going to the same place as that bus there. Horseshoe Bay, and we're getting off at the forts track to go see the forts. Alright, now we're on a bus. And um that was pretty cheap, mate. You get yeah. all day passes. Cost she was a like for nine sixty. Nine that bucks. Yeah. Cheap, cool. Oh man, there's steep roads here. It's like a big wombat. <laughs> oh. oh, that scared me. Yeah. Someone's losing their stuff. Oh wow. wow. walked all this but we're saving our energy because mm. uh, there's probably a lot of walking yeah gonna do the big forts walk all right so we made it up to the forts that was a cool bus drive the roads like really narrow and stuff and he's like really up it to get here and um all the higher cars are really cool they look at this it's hard to see under that tarp but they got like 
convertible charades and Honda Cities and things and that's got like a step down door even eh? like the door doesn't even open it's just a cutout oh man that looks like so much fun but yeah so this is the forts walking track um as far as we know we should see koalas down here oh yeah so biggest, um, um wild population koala population in australia apparently uh, the sign said the what biggest northern population so i don't oh, okay, know if like kangaroo island might beat it down south but yeah because you have northern and southern koalas and they're like slightly different so yeah let's go try and find one mm. all right so this is the start of the track here then people said they saw four koalas and that people have marked them on the track with sticks <laughs> pointing at them. So yeah, should be mad. Right, so first stop down this track is uh, Arthur Bay Lookout and oh man. Wow, check it out. Yeah, it's beautiful down there. Oh, and there's a butterfly yeah, here. Big butterfly. Yeah, it's a big one too, eh? <laughs> oh man. So I don't know if we'll end up down there or what, but man, it looks good from here. There's a heap of little beaches and bays and that, so we'll stop in at what we can. But yeah. it's going to be a big walking day, so I don't know if we'll get to see it all. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so we found our first koala on the island, eh? Yeah. And he looks really cool. Yeah. He's a bit up there, though, up the hill. I would have liked to have like seen one at eye level somewhere, yeah. but... Yeah, cool. well... Well, he's looking at us now. Well, well that's it's really the only cool. He, does today. <laughs> Better move well. he doesn't look much smaller than the the Victorian ones. He's not as furry though. The ones yeah, in the Victoria Victorian were more were, shaggy. They were darker too, like the darker grey. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's waving at us. He's pretty active, eh? Mm. Yeah, I didn't expect him to move this. Yeah, I thought he'd just be sleeping all day. All right, so second koala is right here. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is the closest we've ever been to us. <laughs> yeah, wow, how cool is he? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. Mm. It's so cool to see him so close, eh? Hey? Yeah, I really didn't have to get this close. <laughs> wow, he's got pretty mean claws too, eh? Yeah. yeah, that's so sick. Right, so I think this is koala number three. three. And we haven't even come that far. So yeah, guaranteed to see him here pretty much, I think. Mm. There's another one just there. Is there oh, like, wow. just like, just... <gasps> About 20 metres up, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> on the left. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, there's one down there. He's like almost at eye level. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, if you're heading that way, yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, mm. how cool are the koalas? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think they'd be this close, eh? Yeah. Mm. yeah, they're not They're not worried about people, are they? They're mm. probably really used to they're it. They're used to it, <laughs> And get gawked at every day. Yeah. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Koala. <laughs> Spewing is not facing the other way. Because you could get up on this rock and like <laughs> ha get a real good look at him. <laughs> oh, wow. It's mad. <laughs> oh, I want a koala. Yeah. I was saying, if that lady can have a magpie, <laughs> there's no reason I can't have a koala. <laughs> and this one is koala number four. He might be the biggest one yet. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they've all been pretty similar, I guess. 
Hey, look at me. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, wow. Well. It's cool how they're just so friendly. They don't really it's care. So chill, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he's in a good spot this one. Yeah, well. Right, so we've seen a ton of koalas already. Next we're gonna go and climb up this rock and get way up there. And I think it's like a World War II fort or lookout. So yeah, should be pretty cool. Yeah, whoever built these track did a good job, eh? These stairs are pretty nice. They're all like a good height and stuff. It sucks when you get somewhere and the steps are like too high. You end up killing your knees. Yeah, um, yeah up here is where they kept like big artillery guns in World War II. The sign said that they weighed... 10 tons each and they had to bring two of them up here so like they would have had to have drove like a semi trailer sized truck and a crane up here to be able to get them up here I reckon so that must have been a mission yeah well it's so cool got such a nice day too eh? the water's like perfect it's probably the nicest day we've had in North Queensland for like how the water is anyway. It's not all mud for once. Yeah, wow. Oh, the view from the top is gonna be pretty spectacular. Yeah, it's so cool. Right, so this is one of the gun emplacements and the gun would have sat in the middle and then they could like spin it round on this track on the outside and um, Yeah, you can tell from how big this is how big the gun must have been. Is there a picture of it here? Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm guessing that's the type of gun, but I don't know that one's like on wheels and things I think it would have been like more permanently mounted than. Looks like it'd have something bigger. That. It says a 6.1 inch, 155 millimeter. So how long was it? 5.9 meters long. Yeah. A range of 18.3 kilometers. So <laughs> she was uh, capable of throwing a. <laughs> bit of metal pretty far <laughs> yeah wow so this is where the gun looked out over here and there's this cool little bay down there I don't know that if bay? that's radical bay but I think we'll end up down at that one but I'm not sure either so we'll find out when we get that far anyway but yeah wow what a place mmm what a view and it's all just these granite boulders the whole island Mm. It's really cool. It's all speed up lava. Right, so we made it to like the, the actual fort where the lookout is. And this is one of the rooms inside it, which isn't very exciting. Yeah, but um, I guess all the action happens up here whoa there's like speakers down in there playing like war, war sirens and things the Japs are coming so apparently during World War 2 Townsville did get bombed the bloke on the ferry was telling us we haven't actually seen anything about it but um yeah he reckons that Japanese planes bombed Townsville so yeah it's got a bit of history. There, wow. So I think that's Horseshoe Bay down there. That does look like a horseshoe, doesn't it? Yeah. 
and then up north, I forget what all the islands up there were called. Um, I you. There's an Aboriginal community oh, on there. Island. Palm Island. Yeah, and then um, this is looking out to the east, straight out to sea, and round here's down south, where well, you get a good view from here. And then you can see all the way back down to the port at Townsville there. So yeah. Wow, good spot. Yeah. Yeah, well, so here, three Japanese air raids on Townsville, July 26, 28, and 29. Wow. Yeah. So I knew about Darwin, but I didn't know they actually bombed Townsville as well, eh? So that's pretty cool. Well, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, so and this is like the pillbox, eh? They would have been up here with machine guns, like. It's pretty cool. It's um really tough building, eh? They built it. They built this really well. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit tougher than the stuff at Paranella Park. All right. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, now we're gonna go head down onto the eastern side of the island and go see what some beaches are like. And then the Japs are coming again. <laughs> Woo! Heaps and heaps of stairs here. So, uh, and because it's so long and hot, I'd, I'd rate this one pretty low on the grandma scale too. There's no pushing a wheelie walker down here. And uh, just because of how long and hot and steep and the steps and your grandma would want to be pretty fit. Mm, yeah, it's um, pretty hot. I'm obviously rugged up against the sun, which doesn't help. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's beautiful. It's worth it, though. It's definitely worth it. It's mm. a stunning walk. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting down to the beach. Right, so we made it off of the death stairs. <laughs> and now we're going down to check out um, Radical, Bay. Radical Bay. And then Horseshoe Bay, which is the little town. And then we can catch a bus around from there. Mm. Whew. I think we've still got a good couple of k's to go though. And uh, it's getting pretty steamy now. Oh, made it to the beach. So this one is called Radical Bay, and uh, it's really cool. Yeah, well, all the rocks are really nice. And the water looks really clear. Yeah, this might be one of the nicest beaches we've seen, eh? Because the water's been pretty murky everywhere else. Yeah. Reminds me a lot of Bowen. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about how they've got the similar rocks everywhere. Yeah. And they've got a horseshoe bay as well, which we're on the way to here. Yeah. Which is two little bays that way. So I don't know. Hopefully, it's at only 1.3 k's from here. So it shouldn't be massively bad. We hope. Right, so we're just having a break under this big fig tree. Because uh, it's cooking out there at the moment. It's right on like lunchtime now. So it's bad in the sun. And uh, these people have got some music for us. And yeah, the tree w is really cool. So yeah, it's a pretty nice spot here too. Whew, hopefully uh, the walk's not too up and down hills and things. The last bit was pretty nice, so hopefully the, the rest of the way is not too bad either. Right, so back into the bush. And um, get round the... Horseshoe Bay, where the buses are. Why does it say 1.6 k's now? Yeah, it got longer. Oh. That sucks. Oh man, we were hoping for an easy track, but it looks like it's 1.6 k's of stairs. Oh. Oh, 
Well. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we'll stop and have a break. Oh, so we can see some water down there now. And uh, the town, I'm hoping, is just at the bottom of this hill now. So, whew. oh man, it's been a hell of a walk, eh? Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm done. It's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've gone like halfway across the island from the top all the way down. Um, I think the sign at the start said it was going to be about 5Ks plus all the little offshoot bits we did. So you have to go so far up. <laughs> yeah, it's all the up and down that, yeah, that really that gets at you. Yeah. And you get on the nice level tracks, it's like, oh, you might as well be like laying in bed compared mm -hmm. to walking on this. Oh, all right. This on the downhill. Yeah, we'll see us at the bottom. Oh, yeah. So I think we made it. We're out on Henry Lawson Street. I wonder if Henry Lawson ever come in. But, um, oh yeah, wow. Whew, that was a hard 1.5 kilometers the last bit. Doesn't even tell you how far to the fort and everything there. All right. Oh, there's some oh, butterflies. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> These ones are really big on the island, eh? They're same butterflies on the mainland, but smaller. So yeah, now we just need to go and find a shop so we can have a drink and find some lunch maybe mm. and the bus. Then park the bus. Oh yeah. Yep, get some refreshments then get on the bus. Air conditioned bus sounds nice at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the end of the track. It felt like it just kept going and going and going. And uh, then you had to follow all the way up here because the creek cuts you off to where this bridge is. And now we're at the town. Yay! Oh man. Now we just need to find somewhere to lay down and die. <laughs> Alright, so this is Horseshoe Bay. And they got a mad swimming enclosure. And, uh, and a really nice long beach. There's a boat ramp there. And uh, all we really want is a shady seat though. <laughs> Where's the shady seat? I think there's some seats up here maybe. Oh, and here's some rental cars. I heard they've got the highest concentration of mini mokes in Australia too, because these used to be the higher cars here. So I don't know if that's a higher car if someone owns that now. But yeah, how mad would that be driving it around here? And um, here's one of the little, I don't know, there's a Daihatsu or a Suzuki with the step down door. It's mad, eh? Whoa. If we'd hired a car though, then we'd have to walk all the way back because the car would still be at the top of that track. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would have sucked. All right, let's try and find somewhere to sit down for a minute. All right, so it was pretty nice here. Um, we didn't bring swimmers or nothing to go for a swim. So we're gonna get the bus and go back over the other side and go see what's over there now. Oh yeah, back on the bus. The air conditioning is so nice. I never missed it so much. Uh, so there's probably other stuff you could go and do on the island, but uh, yeah, we're just like burnt out today. My feet are killing, and um, yeah, just kind of over it. So we're waiting for the ferry. And then we've got to go get Jetta as well before it gets too late. So we couldn't stay that much longer mm -hmm. anyway. And yeah, so we'll see you when the ferry gets here. Right, go go back on this boat. See you over the mainland maybe. If the boat makes it. <laughs> no, it'll be alright. <laughs> Ah, 
We're back in uh, Townsville. <laughs> yeah. So we go find the wombat now. See if you got any parking tickets or got towed. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> we check. All right. So I didn't get towed, stolen, or burnt out. Still there. All right. Oh, tripping over Jetta. So we got and got Jetta back. And uh, now we're back at the caravan park with the aircon going. And oh, it's pretty nice in here. Man, it's cooking out there, eh? Townsville's like so hot and sweaty all the time. Ooh. So uh, yeah, that's about it for today anyway. Tomorrow, um, oh, the, oh yeah, the animal place. Mm -hmm. So we'll go and see like their crocodiles and I don't know what else they got. Probably koalas, but uh, I guess mainly crocodiles. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see you then anyway. Oh yeah, spewing we didn't find koala number five because like I had a mad song lined up for it, but oh, mumbo number five. No, koala number five. <laughs> <laughs> Reappropriated mumbo number five. <laughs> <laughs>